Have you ever wondered, in the airsoft community, if there's an operator out there that's not only frank with his money, but also extremely good looking? We'll look no further. I am the one directioner of airsoft, and you know what makes you beautiful. <coughs> Actually, you don't, so you probably should listen to me. So after a bunch of comments and requests to see what I personally would wear, um, I finally have come out with a series. It's called, What Would Simeon Do? And it'll just be a series of what I literally do, just like the name. So it'll be of loadouts that I would wear or loadouts that I do wear. And this one is what I would wear if I actually had money. Um, so we'll just go through that. Yeah. So we know 99% of airsoft is how you look and not actually how you play. And so I've always been the one to kind of thrift shop airsoft. I've never been the one to spend a lot on gear because I always wanted more for a lot less. So what this stuff is, it's a quality gear for a lower price, but it's still really nice and functionable that I would wear. And because I've never been the one to buy cry stuff, I won't buy real steel stuff for my airsoft. It's just I feel like I can get the same functionality out of something that's cheaper and a less of price. So this is going to be the series of the Assault Gear. So for the play carrier that I personally chose is the Condor Gunner play carrier in Multicam. Um, a couple things I liked about it is it has a lot of molly space, but it's also very compact in a way. So it's going to have enough room to store as much gear as you possibly need, but it's also small enough to where it's not bulky and heavy. Uh, another thing that is notable about it, it's real multicam. It's to spec of multicam. And so all the pouches from Condor and the plate carriers, they go well together and they're not offset. So for the kangaroo pouch here, I chose the Condor OD mag inserts. It's just a triple stack and it's got a really nice tension to it. So it's not going to like flip around. A lot of stuff, if you put in kangaroo, it kind of flies around. But for some reason, the, the Condor ones in a Condor plate carrier are extremely tight probably because they're made for each other. I chose the OD because it kind of offsets a lot of the tan, but it still blends in really well, and it's still very functional for what I needed to do. So for on my side, I have the Condor single M4 pouch where I keep my speed loader. This is just for really quick reloads if I ever have to do them. With the amount of mags I have, you shouldn't, but it's just for extra, extra ammo and just, just, it's good to have it on you. Remember operators, when you build a loadout, it's about you and you only. All the functionality is about you and there should be nothing for a teammate or anyone else to mess with. However, when it comes to your IFAC or medical stuff, it should be that you personally cannot reach it. This is my opinion, but you personally cannot reach it. Here's why. Because if you can reach it, that means you can use your medical stuff on some other joker and you want it to be so your teammates can heal you with your own medic stuff. It's about you, remember? You bought the stuff, you get to use it on yourself, but you can't reach it. See? But the actual reason why I have it so far back is about where my arms go. If I were to have it up here where it's even easier to access, then I would be extremely uncomfortable and my elbows couldn't rest down but it's still accessible and I still can get it in case of any time of emergency or just I have to grab a band-aid because I'm a girl. All right, this is the Condor Ripaway EMT pouch in multicam and I personally chose it because it's really nice, it's very compact, it's not like most EMT things where they're huge and bulky and the zippers are super nice to use only with one hand. You can actually, you can zip them up and down. So we got, you know, we got our gloves in here, some surgical scissors underneath that, some, you know, our stuff. We got, we got our medical stuff and it's enough to where, to where it'd be accessible and usable if any, any standard issues were to happen. Now it's time for complaints. The thing is, I'd really just love if there was everything perfect with this, but there's not. Where, where the Velcro touches, it only touches in the middle. The cummerbund doesn't have enough Velcro. The thing, it, it doesn't, doesn't have enough Velcro to hold in the middle, so it, it's kind of floppy just a little bit. 
They actually, the condor is sweet enough. They were sweet enough to add these two little Velcro things to go on the inside so it doesn't move as much. But it still does it. It still, it still has little gaps. It has the gaps. <laughs> Being a professional hand model, I had to choose something that would protect my hands. So I introduce you. What are these called? Mechanics Impact and Multicam. Oh, glorious operators and mechanics that are actually mechanics. You glorify the mechanics gloves. I personally like them so they can keep my soft and girlish like hands intact. And also, I appreciate that they added these very nice knuckle protection so when I'm backhanding noobs my hands don't get hurt. There's only one complaint. There's these ribs on the index finger and the thumb and I was like yeah that's awesome for making in-game selfies but it doesn't work on your phone and it deceived me and I was trying to take an in-game selfie and I couldn't so mechanics you should have clearly stated that that does not actually activate your phone so you can take in-game snapchats and selfies that's a crucial part of your gloves now I'm gonna have to take off my gloves and my my beautiful hands are gonna get they're gonna get hurt somehow it, it's prone to happen so operators that's a wrap I hope this was helpful to all you that were wondering what I would wear so give us a like subscribe to our YouTube channel and Follow us on Instagram and like us on Facebook. I just totally did a, a YouTube channel.